Now only on five tonight's temperatures going to drop to near freezing and some folks living in a Lakewood condominium say they haven't had heat since last winter. This is a story we've been following exclusively since October and our Derek Waller is live on five outside the Marine Towers East on Edgewater. Derek, the city gave a deadline to fix the heat there, but it has come and gone with no repairs. Well, Lee, it's actually illegal to not have heat, a permanent source of heat when it's this cold outside. And you're right, the city ordered those space heaters out of here a month ago because it's a fire hazard, but they're still there. And this is part of an ongoing feud that could very well end up in court. What am I going to do? I don't know. Over lunch, Pam McKenna vented her frustrations. A year after pipes burst at Marine Towers East, unlawful space heaters are still warming up a quarter of the building. Fix the pipes. Why are they not fixing the pipes? Do that. Restore the heat. Sam Grabowski unplugged his after city inspectors said they weren't up to code. I have a son, and like I said earlier, there is one way in and there is one way out of our unit. So if there was a fire to erupt, that's it. We have no way out. So why are they still there? We do not believe that this poses an imminent hazard to anyone. Building Commissioner Michael Malinsky tells me progress has been made to reduce the hazard by moving those space heaters to their own separate circuit. Our only other option would be to have to have those people removed from their homes um, because of lack of heat in those condominiums. And if we don't have to force that, we'd rather not. Meanwhile, the condo board told homeowners new pipes in an HVAC system would cost more than $3 million. McKenna's share is more than 16000 and the first $1,000 payment is due on February 1st. That's almost designed to bankrupt people. I tried to contact the board's president, but there was no answer. Grabowski's share of the bill is even higher. He says he wants to make peace, but in the meantime, he's talking to a lawyer. They're saying I have a lawsuit. Yes, I'm going to go with it, and I'm going to, if I have to go against the board or First Realty, I'm going to do what I have to do. And their argument is that this massive project should have fallen under capital improvement and not maintenance. That would have opened it up to a vote to the entire building before that contract was signed. They're worried that some of their neighbors could be forced into foreclosure. Live in Lakewood, I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.